Traditional Korean houses had an underfloor heating system called Ondor. This traditional aspect of both Korean culture and architecture has recently been modernized so that the heat not only lasts longer, but the warmth spreads throughout the entire room. Lee Eun Jin has the details. This is a construction site of passive architecture, which uses energy efficient building designs to reduce carbon emissions. One of the key factors of passive architecture is using materials and techniques to retain heat in winter and keep buildings cool in summer. And the use of the traditional Ondor method of heating has been incorporated with improvements. The latest Ondor heating system warms the entire room evenly and for a much longer period. There are primary Gudel stones that store heat and a layer that delivers the heat. It's a way that locks up the heat without letting it escape. It's significantly different from the old method. The term kudu is an old word for ondol, both meaning heated stone. And this method of heating is also an essential element of the hanok, the traditional Korean house. The latest patented method of ondol construction bakes red clay using mortar to prevent cracks in the stones, and it also prevents any smoke from entering the room. Another great improvement is that once heated, the heat is retained for roughly six days, which helps reduce heating costs by roughly one-third compared to the existing Ondor systems. The old Gudel emitted a lot of smoke, environmental pollution, but the Gudel I'm using now uses a method that reburns fuel. Last year, the Kudur stone pit in Obongsan Mountain, Jeollanamdo Province, was designated a National Tangible Cultural Heritage. This new Ondor technology that applies science to tradition is the successful result of more than a decade of trial and error. Lee Eun-jin, Arirang News.